Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve lead code SQL problem 181, which says employees earning more than their managers. Uh, we are given a table called employee, which has four columns, ID, name, salary, and the manager ID. Here, ID is the primary key column for this table. And each row of this table indicates the ID of an employee, their name, salary, and the ID of their manager. So we are asked to write a SQL query to find the employees who earn more than their managers and we can return the result table in any order okay so now we have uh, the employee IDs here and their name uh, their salary and the manager ID so we have Joe here uh, and Joe's manager is 3 who is Sam so Joe is earning 70,000 and uh, his manager is earning 60,000 right so in this case Joe is an employee who is earning more than his manager Sam and uh, Sam doesn't have a manager uh, and Max doesn't have a manager here Henry is earning 80,000 and his manager is 4 and 4 belongs to Max so Max is earning 90,000 so in this case Henry is not earning more than his manager hence the output table should have only Joe because Joe is an employee who is earning more than his manager uh, who is Sam so questions like this uh, involve self-joining. So let's see how we could solve this. I'll copy this table and uh, paste it over here. Okay. So we have the manager ID and uh, we know that manager himself is an employee, right? So we need to have a self-join over here on the manager ID with this ID, ID column, right? So here we have uh, this three belongs to Sam. This 3 belongs to Sam and uh, his salary is 60,000. Alright. And this 4 belongs to Max. And uh, Max's salary is 90,000. So here it would be null because S Sam and Max don't have managers. So they would be null. So here we, are, we can now return wherever this salary that is the first table salary is greater than the second table salary. So in that case, we can return Joe. Here we will not be returning uh, Henry because this salary is not eighty thousand is not greater than ninety thousand. Okay. So now that we got the logic, um, let us now go ahead and run the SQL SQL query. Okay. So from from employee, we'll first make a self join. I'll alias this as E one, and I'm going to left join employee and I'll alias this as E2 and on which we are we going to join we are going to join on E1 dot manager ID equal to E2 dot ID right because this manager ID is also a part of the employee ID right so now we'll have a condition where e1 dot salary e1 dot salary e1 dot salary is this salary is greater than now we are going to compare this with the e2 dot salary because e2 dot salary is basically the manager salary right so this is going to be e2 dot salary okay and here we are going to return select e1 dot name as I'm going to alias this as employee right now let us run this code to see whether this answer is accepted okay this answer is accepted now let me go ahead and submit this to see whether this passes all the test cases okay this is success i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you soon in another video and until that please like share and comment on this thank you